sitting evenly on your sitting bones. We don't want to be hollow in the chest here, so we don't want to slump back. So pull your shoulders back, push the floor away and lift the chest. That's going to engage you across the back of your shoulder girdle and in your lats. It's going to have that spine nice and straight. We're going to bring the feet together and we're going to press. We're not going to just drop the knees. We're going to press the knees down towards the floor. It's going to give you a little stretch in that groin and then we're going to bring it back up. And again, taking it down, press, 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 and then bring it down. What you'll notice is you're using these muscles here, these glutes. Tummy in, nice and tall. Keep that chest lifted. Watch when you press the knees down that it doesn't pull your spine back. Keep that chest lifted. Let's do another three, two, and one. Let's take the feet out wide now. Tummy in, lift that chest, and we're going to press the right knee in, bring it back, and then the left knee. So we're using in the thighs here. Keep that chest lift, keep, keep those shoulders back. Nice and tall. Trying to increase that range of movement each time we take it down. Another three on each side. and then bring it back. So there's gonna be a bit more pelvis movement on this next one. We're gonna sit nice and tall. We're gonna lift out of the lower back. You're gonna take the left knee towards the floor and the right knee down. Sit nice and tall. You'll find that you're just on your right sitting bone here. Bring it back onto both sitting bones and then over to the other side. So there's a lot of core control here. lift. As you take it to the side, I want you to get height in that spine. Lift. Height in that spine. Lift. Stay as tall as you can as you're passing through that middle. Those shoulders down. Try not to lift with your shoulders. Keep them down. And then keep the knees to the right this time. And we're ready for this next one. Tummy in, try not to use your shoulders, so keep your elbows down here, and you're going to push your hips forward. So you're gonna take a breath in, and you're going to come up, press those hips forward. It's a good one to practice. Let's go for 10, one. It's very much your glutes pushing your hips forward. Two, think about what's happening. Groin, front of the hips. Two more. We're going to lean back and you're going to take the knees to the other side. A little tip is bring your heel in a little bit closer to you if you're struggling. Tummy in. Try not to use momentum. Press your knees into the floor and squeeze your glutes. So there's a little bit of knee mobility required here. Keep it going. Even though your knee likes stability, it's still got a little bit of knee movement in it. So what's happening here is we're moving in a 
different range of movement with the knee, but we're strengthening the muscles that support that movement. I've got a crunchy ankle on this side. Pull your shoulder blades back, working the upper back as well. Let's do another five. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down and just bring the knees in front of you and you're going to just have a little breather. 